Hello, people of the internet. And welcome back to the talk series. Today I'm going to be doing Batman versus Superman talk. The topic is Alfred. Now I'm gonna kinda try to be doing a history of Alfred video, but um you guys probably know Alfred um um from the comics as from all the other films as a butler. But in the new Batman vs Superman film, no. He's there. He was he was he was um Bruce's parents bodyguard no not a slave bodyguard so he used to be um he's an ex like CIA agent um guy so they kind of saw what they did in Gotham and then they and then they got because they got a lot of positive feedback about Alfred being like an ex army soldier and that he's really good at fighting and that he's really cool um so I thought the make so I think the makers of that saw that and then they thought hey this is a really good idea let's put this in the new Batman vs Superman film. So you get um, Alfred a lot of good feedback, and it worked. I thought the Alfred in the new film, I didn't really kind of like his personality when I saw the trailer. But then when I watched the film, I was like, wow, this guy's cool. He knows what's going on. I like this character. So, yeah, I like that character. Let's talk about the history of this character. Alfred Pennyworth first, first, first appeared in Batman issue 14 in 1943. It was created by writers Bob Kane and Bill Finger. Alfred appears as a loyal butler um, to his employer, Bruce. But he also helps him out in his Batman life. Well, not Alfred's Batman life. Um, Bruce's Batman life. In modern in interpretation, sim, 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 sim. modern interpretation, in modern interpretation, modern interpretations, yes, achievement unlocked. Can say with stuff. In modern interpretation, oh no! In modern interpretations, Alfred is is Bruce's butler, best friend, and legal guardian. Finally, God, that took some. That took a lot of recordings. And Alfred, when Alfred Pennyworth first appeared, he was overweighted and clean shaven. However, when the 1943 Batman serial was re was released, William o William Austin, the actor who played Alfred, was was trim and sported a thin moustache. <laughs> DC editors wanted the comic Alfred to resemble the cinematic counterpart, so in Detective Comics issue 53, January 1944, Alfred vacationed as a health as a health res Alfred vacationed at a health resort where he can slim down and grew a moustache. Oh, ha, ha. he looked like this all the way up to his death and re-resurrection. Because comics. Al Alfred was originally conceived as a com as comedic foil for Batman and Robin. In in most early tales, he made he made bungling appear he made bungling attempts to be to be a detective on pair with his young master. Ironically, Alfred's loyalty would lead him to become a member of Batman's Rogue Gallery. Well. While pushing Batman and Robin out of the way of a falling boulder, Alfred was seemingly killed in Detective is in Detective Issue three hundred and twenty eight, June nineteen sixty four. Why? He was so old. He had so much to live for. Why? And he had a beautiful moustache. Then he was revived by a scientist named Brandon Crawford. Thank you, Brandon. Thank you, Brandon. His attempt at regeneration resulted in a dramatic change. Alfred awoke from his apparent from his apparent death with a with a pasty white skin and circular masking and circular markings superhuman powers including telekinesis and a desire to destroy batman and robin calling himself the outsider he indirectly battled the dynamic duo on a number of occasions using the others as his puppets the grasshopper gang in detective in detective free in, in, in detective in, in detective issues 334 Zatanna in Detective in Zatanna in Detective issue three hundred and thirty six, and even the Batmobile itself in Detect in Detective three hundred and forty. That was a lot to say. I've never said so much in a sentence. Alfred later helps Bruce raise Dick Grayson, Jason Todd, and Tim Drake, all of whom were adopted by Bruce Wayne and had become his partner. Robin. He also had a close friendship with other members of the background, including Barbara Gordon and Cassandra C and Cassandra Kane. Alfred often acts as a 
father figure to Bruce and his gr and a grandfather to Dick, Grayson and Tim. He also highly respect and he is also highly respected by those heroes who are aware of his of his existence, including Superman, Wonder Woman, Green Lantern, and the original Teen Titans. Thank you for joining me in this video. Please be sure to give it a thumbs up and comment. I love reading comments. It's like my favourite thing to do. And um, yeah, stay Harry. See what I did there? I instead of saying stay happy, I said stay Harry. Oh, I'm so funny.